I think this chemical peel might have given me a rash. Jesus Christ, my face is so itchy. <gasps> What is up guys? So in today's video, I am going to be getting another chemical peel. I'm so excited. So as a lot of you know, I am sure um, I had a really bad breakout at the beginning of this year that caused a crap ton of breakouts and hyperpigmentation. It has gotten significantly better than it used to be, but it is still not all the way there so i just wanted to come on here before i got the peel to show you guys what my skin is looking like before and in case my skin does look kind of ashy i'm looking real real gray right now because i washed my face i had tinted moisturizer on it but i wanted to take that off before my appointment so i took that off and i just put sunscreen on which is why i'm looking slightly ashy because my skin is like kind of dry because i didn't put moisturizer on but yeah this is what my skin is looking like now it's honestly gotten so much better than it was before oh my gosh it was so bad but yeah um i'm gonna be late to my appointment if i don't leave like soon so let go good morning today is day two of my chemical peel so i didn't film last night just because essentially the night of the first day all you're supposed to do is cleanse the peel off with a gentle cleanser no moisturizer no nothing literally just cleanse it off so that was night one pretty uneventful so i didn't film it for you guys but today is a new day it's day two um and we have some action going on today so i wanted to film all right so the peel comes with instructions and um it basically is just instructions for day one all the way through like day six or seven so on day one you get your peel you keep it on for a minimum of six hours and you just wash it off at night um with a gentle cleanser which is what i said i did so day two a.m um gently wash and dry the treated areas vigorously apply the first post peel tablet which is this right here um and let it sit for 30 minutes before applying spf um, so yeah that's that's really it so let's get started all right so my face is nice and wet so i'm gonna take some of my gentle cleanser like a pea size amount maybe like two peas actually and i'm just going to gently cleanse my face oh and i'm also going to cleanse my neck because she did put peel on my neck as well so my neck will likely peel all right so next i'm going to take my post peel towelette my first one and we gonna rub this bad boy all over my face. Like every single drop. <clears throat> this stuff is very strong, like extremely strong. And what you really wanna do is focus on the areas where you have a lot of hyperpigmentation and really just kind of like go in on those areas especially so i have a lot of acne scarring on my jaw lines and also like my chin area and my forehead basically all over my whole face if we're being real Okay, so I think I have used up literally every drop of this. So now I have to wait 30 minutes to put my SPF on. So I will be back in 30 minutes. All 
right, so it is 11.25 p.m. I am sleepy, I am tired, so I'm trying to do this night routine and get to, get to moving. So I'm essentially gonna do the same routine that I did this morning, except instead of using an SPF, I'll use a moisturizer if my face feels really dry. If not, I won't use a moisturizer. Um, so how I've been feeling throughout today, really my skin has just been super itchy um so it's just like especially my chin and my neck has been extremely itchy like all this area and like down here i've been like patting it trying not to actually scratch it but just kind of like patting it like this and like this so that i can have some relief because it has been extremely itchy yeah other than that i obviously am not experiencing any peeling on day two generally i don't start peeling until day three anyways so that's normal but um yeah let me wash my face so that i can get in the bed because i'm tired ridiculously itchy right now oh my god help me <laughs> jesus christ my face is so itchy oh oh my gosh okay yeah i'm definitely gonna have to put on moisturizer after i put this um post peel on because lord My face is extremely itchy. Oh. I've never, oh geez, geez. I've actually never experienced this level of itchiness from a peel before. So maybe this means it's gonna work extra hard. Prayerfully, that's what it means because, wow, it's so itchy. feels a lot better now it's not itching as much that itchiness was something something else i thought i was i thought my face was gonna fall off um but yeah so i think i should be fine without a moisturizer tonight if it gets really bad again i'll just come on here and put some on my face to relieve the itch yeah um and if not i will see you guys in the morning i do expect to peel in the morning because it is day three so i think we should get some peeling action but we will see so i will see you guys in la manana good morning well actually that's a lie good afternoon because it is 12 44 and it's thanksgiving so happy belated thanksgiving yeah okay don't be weird naki don't be weird all right well, yeah so it is almost one o'clock in the afternoon on day three of what i thought was my chemical peel but honestly this chemical peel might be a complete fail for two reasons the first reason being that day three is when i normally start peeling and i woke up this morning no peeling i washed my face this morning with my gentle cleanser put on my spf put on a little bit of my post peel moisturizer and still no peeling um and again it's like one o'clock in the afternoon so it's been a solid 20 it's been a solid like 48 hours since i have gotten the peel so where's the peeling i will say 
I do have a little bit like underneath, um, sorry if my face is gray. That, I really do not like that, um, that sunscreen. It makes my face so gray. So I think I'm just gonna start using my regular sunscreen because this one makes me look so gray. But anyways, yeah. So you can see here that, why is it not focusing? You can see here that I do have a little bit of peeling. Um, but that's literally all the peeling thus far. But yeah, so number one, I think this might be a fail because I'm not peeling yet. Number two, I think this chemical peel might have given me a rash. So as you guys remember last night, uh, I did say that my skin was itching so bad when I washed my face and even yesterday throughout the day my skin was just really 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 itchy mainly like around my neck and then like on these sides of my face and my chin so literally like all day I'm just like patting my face and my neck kind of like how you pat your head when you know your weave itch like I was doing that on my face all day yesterday so then today I washed my face this morning and as I'm looking at my face, I'm like, why does my fit why does my skin look uneven? And it looks like a heat rash looks almost. Like it just looks like a bunch of tiny bumps on my face. I don't know. It could be a heat rash. It is the winter time, so I do like keep my heat on. So it could be that, but um, I don't really think it is. I think it might be the chemical peel. So I don't know if you guys can see see I'm gonna if I can focus it I don't know if you guys can see but basically right here like right all along here I have a bunch of little bumps and it will it looks like a heat rash I don't know if heat rashes itch or not but this has definitely been itching mainly right here I haven't seen any little bumps like over here or on my neck um, I just see a lot like right here. So I don't know if that's a byproduct of, of the chemical peel. If it is, I was not warned about it. So, you know, I'm pretty taken aback and appalled by the scenario at hand. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, I am gonna go on about my day, go enjoy my Thanksgiving and I will be back if there's anything to share hopefully there will be but you know i can't make any promises because i'm real disappointed with the lack of anything happening right now um but yeah so i will be back if there's anything to share peace Good morning. It is day four of my chemical peel, right? Cause I got it on Tuesday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yes, yeah, so today is Friday, the fourth day of my chemical peel. And y'all know yesterday I was complaining about not peeling, but look, ask and ye shall receive because my face is finally peeling. As you can see, primarily, at first it started peeling like right underneath my lip and then it kind of spread to this area. I did cut off some skin because it was hanging. So I did start to just like start cutting it off and then it's kind of spread over here and then to like around my laugh lines. Is that what you call these things? No, that's not what you call these. But just like in this area right here, it's starting to peel. So you can see. What it's looking like and the rest of my skin is just extremely tight so you can see even when I'm just like pulling it you see like all that skin that's ready to peel and same over here all that skin that's kind of like ready to peel it has also started peeling right here I think just because I sleep on this side and I kind of sleep like this um I feel like my hands just kind of sat there all night which is why this area started to peel and also my chin so this morning, I am just going to continue my peel as usual. I'm gonna hop in the shower, and I'm also going to wash my face, wash my face, as Evelyn from the internet would say, wash my face. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna wash my face with my La Roche Pose um, Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. Focus, yeah, so I'm gonna cleanse my face with this hydrating cleanser, then I'm going to follow up 
wow this camera is so rude then i'm going to follow up with the post peel moisturizer and then i'm going to follow up with my l to md um, spf this is spf 46 i am not going to be using this spf that she gave me even though it is 50 so it's a little bit higher just because i <laughs> This stuff makes me so great and I like would like to go out and run errands because it is Black Friday. So I'm already going to be scaring people with the peeling, but I don't want to be gray and peeling. I just want to be peeling, you know, so I'm going to be using my L to MD UV clear um, SPF 46 because this does not leave a gray cast on me. So I'm just going to do that. Um, and yeah. finally done peeling it is seven eight nine nine day ten days post uh peel so the way it works is a lot of times your skin peels until about like day six or seven but the chemical peel is still working there's still skin shedding and all that kind of stuff so about day 10 is where you see like the for real for real result results you know like the for real for real for real for real results overall this peel that i got which is the perfect peel versus the vi peel honestly i didn't really feel or like see much of a difference i feel like they work the same i do feel like this one was a lot more itchy and like irritating to my skin than the other one was so yeah that's that but ultimately i do feel like my skin is my skin is literally baby soft smooth like it feels like a, a baby's butt honestly truly uh i do like this spot right here is where i see like the most immediate results i don't know if you guys can see that but this is where i got burned from that esthetician like last like two months ago and i think that this spot lightened up significantly because of the chemical peel so i'm super happy with that the rest of my spots are still there of course because one chemical peel is not going to get rid of all your dark spots at one time that's just not the way it works it happens over time as you use your skin brightening products as you get more chemical peels microderm all those things that really help with hyperpigmentation so yeah it was that time of the month so i have two annoying new freaking dark spots from pimples that came last week like in the middle of my chemical peel i got a pimple right here and a pimple right here they're hormonal because it's yeah again it was just that time of the month so that's kind of annoying but overall outside of that my skin i think is a lot more smooth i have really big pores on my cheekbones and i do feel like it does help them get smaller reduces them in size whenever i get a chemical peel so overall 
This peel was a 10 out of 10, but I also feel like the VI peel was also a 10 out of 10. That's it. I hope you guys continue along with me on my skincare journey. Be sure to subscribe and also check out my skincare playlist to just like see all things how I'm taking care of my skin. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace. Seven, you say my voice, I always have angels.